Hey everyone, here's a lesson on the song Free by the band Chicago. Now there's only three major sections to this song, so I'll be breaking each of those three down. And remember that you can pause and practice at any time. Now I am using my neck pickup for this whole song. Um, you can play around with the bridge pickup if you want, um, maybe for the intro and the bridge, but I'm just gonna leave it on the neck pickup all the way through. So the song starts with this kind of dissonant riff that sounds like this. <laughs> So all that basically is is a B power chord sliding to a C power chord, and then an E power chord sliding to an F power chord. But the difference is he puts the fifth on the bottom, so we have two, two, four on your lower two strings. Now we're gonna play that same pattern up one string set, so. Now we're going to take those same chords and we're going to move them up to the 5th and 6th fret. Okay, same pattern. Lower three strings, then moving up a string set. And then from here we're going to stay on the same string set and move it up to the ninth and 10th fret. So... Okay, from here we're going to get into the verse pattern and all this is is a C minor 7 moving to an F chord. But we can simplify that a little bit with just playing the 8th fret bar to cross uh, on the uh, D, G, and B strings. So basically C minor 7 without the root on it. And then all you have to do is move that up 2 frets for the F chord. Now, rhythmically speaking, um, there's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, if you want to follow the Terry Kath version, which of course is the original, he's doing a very rhythmic pattern. He's starting with this. Da -na 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 -na. But, um, and, and that's totally fine. That's totally valid because it's the original. I will say that does get hard to sustain over the course of an entire song. And also Keith Howland, the long time, I mean, like 37 year guitar, guitar player for them. He simplifies that just a little bit to something like. You can see right off the bat that that is a, a little bit simpler and a little bit easier on your on your right hand. One thing that Keith does is he'll throw like a he'll hammer from the eighth to the tenth fret. And I know that I'm kind of doing some variations, and that's that's a tricky part part about teaching a song like this is that it is so jammy, it's so funky that kind of almost every time may not be the same. So that's where I think you can use your own creativity um, to, and, and playing a course along with the original to um, kind of get your own feel to that. But that, that should be a really good starting point for you guys. Okay, so we play that pattern all the way through the verse or what you could call the refrain. Uh, and then we get to the bridge section. We've got E flat five or E flat power chord uh, going to a B power chord. So six to two, and then G to B flat. So that's three to six. And then we finish off with an F. So all together rhythm with a rhythm, it's gonna be. And all 16th notes as you can hear. Now from here, we're gonna do a G to B flat. And then we're gonna do G, A, F, G. So three, five, one, three. Uh, and then we go back to, we play that over again. Now, that's, I think that's more of a live version that they do, and I'm sorry, it's just kind of part of my playing now, but um, it's like a quarter note triplet thing on the second time through. And otherwise, it's the same, though. Three, four. And then we're back into the verse pattern. Now, they do part of that last uh, bridge riff at the very end of the song. It's just the second half of it, so it's like... So it's just the G, A, F, G part, and then finishing off on that C minor seven, or if you want to take the root off, you can. And that's the song.